said this on countless times um, that uh, there are lots of people that are into trans women. As you can see, the real woman and the biological woman is into trans women. And so there were so many things. I appreciate him. Let me, let me just say this. I appreciate him. But I want to dissect this story just a bit. Because um, I didn't hear the part about the, his interaction. I just heard that the lights were low. Right. And that uh, the trans girl and the, and the bio girl was over there fucking. I heard that. And he watched. Um, these are just my. Hold on. Let me do this. Let me pull out my signs. <laughs> okay, I'm, I got to be mindful the way I go with this because I'm about to go with this. Okay, well, what was about that? All right. I personally don't think that men who get pegged by women are gay. But here is the conjunction for me. <laughs> okay. But I do think that they are fluid in their sexual um, fantasy. And I do, in this case, think that there was more things that happened besides the trans girl just fucking the woman. I think that um, they all fucked in there. I wasn't there. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? I, I... These are my thoughts because... He likes to be dominated and he does not, he likes dominant energy, but he likes it from, from, from femininity. And I get that. I understand that. There are a lot of people into BDSM and bondage and all this stuff. And they like dominant women. They like women to have, you know, like a dominant take over them. So I, I'm, I'm, I, I, I get it. Right. Um, but in this story right here, it was a lots of loopholes in it for me. It was really all over the place. It was a it was a lot of spaces because when you were asked, and then the the commentator on Angela Yee show says, "Oh, you mean she had a surgery? Why would you have a trans woman over there that and you and he's already told you that he's into being pegged? So why would she come over there and he not using his dick? He's getting his ass dug in, and that makes him come." So why would she have a trans? Uh, why would she have a post-op trans woman over there? Because he ain't fucking nobody. Maybe the trans woman was for both of them. Most um, likely, most likely, I guess. Of course, because I've been in a situation. I've already explained to y'all. Yeah, the my encounter that I was in in a situation like that, where both where the couple came over to came over to my crib and they both wanted me to fuck them both. Right. And usually, from my experience, and this might not be those people's experience, I can only speak from my experience. Usually, from my experience, when I was a hooker, when I was a sex worker, when I was involved with selling my services to the public, when these types of things I encountered, the couple usually wanted me to fuck them both. So still here in this thing, I applaud him for even sharing his experience because he could have been over there. He could have still been over there with the, ah, 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 ah. he could have still did that. He could have still did that, but he, in a subtle way, he did it because he was very much so like, oh yeah, I don't like when men lead in with, oh, the lights was low. Here we go again with the, you see what I'm saying, Mo? I, did, I didn't know. I didn't know. Here we go again with the, I didn't know. I don't like that. I don't like it because if they seek the services of a trans woman, a preoperative trans woman who's selling all of her fully functional self, they seeked out a trans woman that had 
big dick energy. They looked for a big dick bitch. Because there was no way that we're going to have a situation over here and a trans person is involved with two people that like to get fucked and nobody's going after a big dick bitch. For me, just, just for me, I applaud him for standing in. He had an experience. I do <laughs> would have really liked the full unadulterated truth. <laughs> I don't give a fuck what you do. But if they ask you a question and you're secure, you got here being walked like a dog, right? I've seen you walk, I've seen videos of you walking like a dog down the street with a with a with a collar on. Oh, for real? Girl, I just watched a video. They were a woman was walking him down the sidewalk and he had on a dog collar and a dog mask. And I don't think he had on nothing else. But Are they you, were walking him out in public. Seriously? On his hand. I watched it. Like the same dude we talking about? Yes, I watched it. Him, the guy. Oh wow! I watched it happen. Oh wow! So I went. I was sitting there with my arms folded under my under my neck, and I was like, "Okay, so if you done got all the way out here in this lane, what is the fear here? We've seen you get walked on the sky. You see, you literally get walked. <laughs> We literally see you Dwarta, get walked. We have seen you get walked <laughs> like a dog. <laughs> I've seen you eating out of a dog bowl. <laughs> you in a dog cage, and I'm not judging you. I'm not either. I'm just I'm I'm more shocked. But it's it, surprising to me it, than anything. It just gets me. in my spirit over here that you get all the way to the line right here, and then you don't go full force in it. Yeah, you might as well. <laughs> you 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 have to go full force in it. You're not gonna be totally free until you walk to freedom. <laughs> you can't skip all over it and start be sitting over there with the bullshit. You know the lights were low. Okay, and so now you were blindfolded, right? <laughs> L- listen, the lights were low. You were blindfolded. Someone said he, someone's uh Afro uh sin, oh, okay sinable? he talked about okay yeah, yeah. all right so you the lights were low you were blindfolded and then all of a sudden you looked up and the 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 bio woman and the trans woman the trans woman was digging the bio woman's pussy up <laughs> with her dick so they over there just fucking and you you just sat there. Now you don't use your dick in these situations because usually when you being when you're being dumb, because I done had to be the, the master and they done been the dumb, they don't want to use their dick. So if if she over there, if the two she's is over there digging each other up, right? Mm-hmm. Where was your ass? Were you in the cage watching? Or was your ass? Toot it up on the end of the bed, waiting for your turn. I think he said he was he was he, he was just watching. He didn't say right. how, he didn't say how he was watching, but right. he said he watched. Right, he right, he watched. Right. Do we all out here? Here, here's what happens when you take this stuff. When you take an experience to social media, people have questions. That's true. So I have questions. And I have questions coming from a place of experience in this. Like, this is something that I'm experienced in. And so I have questions. So if I'm over there digging in her nappy dugout (laughs) and you got your nappy dugout over there tooted up in a cage, you don't think I'm going to save you enough for this dick? How do you know he was tooted up in the cage? No. (laughs) Why does it have to be tooted up in the cage? You don't think I'm going to save you enough for this dick when I get through wearing (sighs) her pussy out? You don't think that I'm going to hit you, nigga, when I know you like to get hit? When I really came there to hit you? Oh, my gosh. I really came there because I was told by the woman that wanted the threesome 
that I was going to hit you. So that was the motivation of, of her. So coming. I hit her first just to get her a little bit so that you can see what you going to get. <laughs> Uh, uh. Am I saying anything disrespectful, or am I am I am I just or am I asking the right question? I mean, I because uh. if a motherfucker clientele me as a big dick bitch myself, uh-huh. the original big dick bitch, the only big dick bitch, because I own all that. If you My God. clientele me and tell me, hey girl, I'm coming over there with my with my cuz obviously these women that you're dealing with, these are your only fan content creators, and they're your and you're also their clients because these are professional doms. So I if I call my trans friend over there who I get who, who be digging me down uh-huh. sometimes. And she got a, a extra set of put man pussy for me. I want to hit everybody in the room. I want to hit everybody in the room. She getting fucked. He getting fucked. Obviously, she done said that to the to the to the trans girl because if she already coming in, the lights are already dim low. It's already been a conversation. Yeah. You said the girl was his girlfriend? Um, really? No, no, no. She said I don't think he's he said that the girl was married. Right. And he that was and her, this is what she did. Jump off. It was it was she was married, and he he is her jump off. Yeah. That's what he said. Because she couldn't do all the stuff that she could do with him. She can't do, do it with her home. husband. Yeah. So her husband not finna let no trans woman come in there and bust her down. <laughs> bust and, them and, and bust him <laughs> down too. But you might. <laughs> yeah, he wasn't going to let nobody bust them cheeks. So she called you. Or him, sorry. She called him. You got to listen to hear and not listen to respond. Because I listened before I put this on the show. Yeah. And as me listening, I was like, there are so many. This story is going all over the place yep. except forward. <laughs> yep, you're right. Because I listened to it too. The it story was... is going all over. And I'm like, just go for it and say that the girl bust y'all down. And we all right. And we can move on to the next thing that they want to ask you about. And I think that's why it sounded like it was all over the place. Because he was trying to, he was trying to explain, but he was trying to keep, I guess he was trying to keep some stuff. Hit it, I guess. And so, so they say. <laughs> <laughs> right. Someone said it. You got me going in circle. Right. Now, I don't mind a man that gets fucked. I'm okay with it. If you get fucked, I'm with it. If you, if this is a part of our of our business agreement, because obviously. He said in his come in his commentary that the that that he is that woman's jump off, and they do freaky shit together because she can't do this at home with her husband. Yep. And she brought them to a place, and in that place that she brought them to, the the, the lights was already dim, meaning that she's already had a conversation with her trans friend. Now I want to say in this whole situation I'm talking about. That all those people are grown and they can do what the fuck they want to do because they grown. Everybody in that whole equation is grown. So I don't get, okay, I want to go back to another situation. Hold on, let me bang my gavel down. Okay. I'm declaring this a mistrial. <laughs> oh, so we're not rejer- we're not gonna come back to it. Nah, because not- I know what happened. But oh. <laughs> The evidence was real, was it presented, and because I'm a judge of experience, I'm declaring this a mistrial. <laughs> in 